Thank you for joining another MSCRMaddons.com webinar. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what we normally do. Um, today we're going to be talking about a feature preview. Um, that feature preview is go we're going to be going over user prompts in Documents Core Pack for Dynamics 365. Um, again, as I said before, we this is not something we normally do, but we kind of want to get it out there and show it to you guys um, so that you uh, you know, kind of have a general idea of what it is so that when we do release it, um, you'll be able to get right into it um, and start using it. So, um, just want to go ahead and get right into it and talk a little bit about uh, talk a little bit about uh, user prompts and uh, uh, incorporating user prompts into generated documents. Let's go ahead and start off a little bit with the requirements. So, basically, like next to static text, um, in your templates and field values from inside Dynamics 365, um, user inputs sometimes need to be incorporated into the generated documents. Um, some of the problems that that, um, that, that uh, presents is that uh, users always need to be able to edit the, uh, the generated documents. Um, so they'll, they'll need to be able to do that. That causes uh, sometimes additional clicks. Um, also is a loss of standardization. You know, sometimes people are putting things um, in certain areas of the document that you may not want them to put them put them at. Also, another thing is the data usually that they're ad having to add to it naturally is not inside of Dynamics, um, and your conditions here um, uh, are not applicable. They do they don't apply. So, what would be a good solution to that? You basically what we would want to do here is we want to enable um, like a configurable prompt. Uh, so that the users can, uh, you know, be able to input uh, input this information in there, and have it be um, automatically then put inside of um, inside the document. You know, we wouldn't want them to be able able to, you know, we don't want them to say we don't want them to edit it, but we still want them to be able to put things into there. So the main goal of this would be uh, to provide an easy and intuitive prompt designer uh, to predefine uh, user content. Um, also give a prompt to the users during uh, the document process, document generation process without a MS Word edit and also to avoid editing errors so um, that's what we're trying to accomplish here um, so some of the popular use cases would be like uh, say for example we wanted to add appendices or additional address blocks uh, we would want to say maybe for example add a personal note um, some legal verbiage uh, and uh, variations in terms and conditions. So um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about um, user prompt, uh, some of our user prompt configuration options. Uh, so we would be able to uh, pre-configure uh, the prompts here and uh, just want to talk a little bit about um, some of the input types uh, that we're going to provide here just for starters. Um, the first one would be section visibility. Um, would be able to uh, just with a little checkbox be able to choose whether certain sections would be shown or not. Uh, let's see, uh, text to be able to add like uh, text to the document uh, without them having to edit the document, and then a predefined option selection so you can choose content upon selection from a predefined list. So just a little drop down and they select it, and then that particular. Uh, section is, uh, is is put into the document. So for our uh, demonstration today, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to basically show you how to create um, and insert uh, user prompt fields into the templates. And uh, then we're going to show the user prompt interface in the Documents Core Pack dialog and incorporate some of the user responses into the document. We're going to show you kind of how that's done. Um, so first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip over to um, to Word, and I'm just going to open up one of our um, standard templates here that we're going to be kind of working on, and I'll show you how to, how this is done. So we'll just go ahead and do our our uh, get our quote open. Okay, so basically what I want to do here, this is a standard quote, um, uh, and uh, let's say for example here uh, that you know uh, the quote's valid for 30 days. Let's say for example that I want to um, I want to change some of these things around. I want to be able to add for the users to be able to add uh, uh, 30 days or 60 days. Uh, I want to put my uh, my payment conditions. That's an option. Maybe I'm sending the um, the customer a copy of this and it's just a draft. I don't need to include these payment conditions in there. Um, and lastly, I'd like to be able to include uh, a personal note. Um, you know, uh, 
to this. So uh, how do we go ahead and go about doing this? So first things here, I'm going to go to our my MSCRM add-ons tab here, uh, the Documents Core Pack. Um, go ahead and insert my mail merge fields. And the first thing I need to do um, is I need to actually set up um, these uh, these user prompt fields. So I do that by going into my advanced template settings. And down here, I will have my user prompts. Now, again, this is a, a, a beta. This is just a, a kind of a feature preview. This is an internal beta. So what you're seeing right now uh, is, may not be the end results. There may be a few like subtle changes, but uh, this, this will give you a general idea of, uh, on how you're going to use this. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a prompt. And uh, you can see here, this is my this is where I add my prompts. I'll give it, uh, I have my three different options here, text, checkbox, or selection. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and just add some text here. So I will call this, uh, I'll just have to give it a name, so personal note. <clears throat> it's going to be a text. Um, I can make the field required or not. Um, in this case, you know, I may not want to always add a personal note, so I'll make it unrequired. Um, allow line breaks. Um, this allows me to um, basically use uh, returns in my um, in my text here. So I definitely want to add that. Next thing I need to do um, is I need to add the language. Pretty sure that once we get this done, you're you're not going to have to add this. So you, you're not going to have to know this. It'll be like a pick list. Um, and lastly, I want to give us a label. So add a a personal Okay, great. So once I'm done with that, um, this text field is set up. I click OK, and I have it in my uh, uh, my prompt view here. So this basically is showing me all the prompts that I have set up, user prompts that I have set up. Next thing that I want to do, I want to add another one. This is going to be uh, for the payment conditions. So I'll just call this payment uh, conditions. Just give it a label so I know what it is. Um, this is going to be a checkbox. Again, I uh, need to give it the language code and my label. Um, so we'll just say add payment conditions. All right, simple enough. Uh, once I've added that, again, I'm done with that. So I've made that field. Uh, last but not least, uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to um, do the thing for the quote is valid. So we're going to have a pick list where they're going to be able to pick 30 or 60 days and show that information. Um, so I'll just call this uh, quote is valid. Quote is valid for. Let me just use that. And here we're going to have a select. You see is here is a little bit different. So here I need to do the label for uh, the documents core pack dialog um, and give the label a name. So quote is valid for. Okay. And now here's where I need to uh, define my option set. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and hit the plus and add my language type. And then the label for this one, this first one, will be for 30 days. 30 days. And then I say add the second one. Language, again, English. And then this one will be for 60 days. And there we go. So good. So I've set up all three of my fields. Um, and once I'm done with that, I have them in here. I can view them. I can edit them. I can delete the ones I don't need. I can actually reorder them, how they're going to show um, on the Documents Core Pack dialog. And so I'm done with that, so I'll just go ahead and click OK. And uh, now I need to um, go ahead and add these fields. So let's go ahead and start by this. And by doing this, all you need to do is click on uh, the, uh, the Insert Fields uh, thing. Uh, go down to Computed Items. First, I'm going to do the prompt here, so get my prompt fields. Here we go. My quote is valid for. This is selection one, which is for 30 days, so I need to go ahead and add that in there. Uh, this quote is valid, valid for 30 days. 
from today, period. All right, and now let's add the one for 60 days. So again, computed, insert computed items, prompt fields, quote is valid for, quote is valid for second option. So I'll go ahead and select that and go ahead and enter this information in here. So this quote is valid, spell it right, for 30 days from today. Oops, I did that wrong. Let me make that because it's supposed to be 60 days. So 60 days from today. Great. So this information here I do no, I no longer need, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. And there we go. So I have these uh, two uh, particular fields in here, and depending on what the user selects in the Documents Core Pack dialog, it's going to show either the 30 or the 60 days. Um, next is going to be Payment Conditions. So this is, again, my checkbox. So again, Computed Items, Prompt Field, and then my Payment Conditions field. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And then go ahead and... Oops, let's see, control Z. So here we add the payment conditions and then the information behind it. So payment conditions here. So I've added that, and I can go ahead and remove this. All right, and then last but not least down here, uh, let's say for example that I want to allow my users to possibly add that um, that personal note, so right above that. So I just click in there and add that, and then I'm done. So um, I'll go ahead and save this template uh, because we're finished. And I'll save it right there, overwrite that one. And uh, let's go on into uh, um, into Dynamics here and uh, have a look at this. Have a look and see how this works. So here we'll go over to Sales. Um, we'll go to Quotes. And once that comes up, I'll just pick a quote here. And let's see, then I'll run the Documents Core Pack dialog. I'm going to decide every step. First thing I need to do um, is pick my template. Okay. And then you can see here in my dialog, after I've selected the template, uh, the dialog knows that this contains prompts. Um, so I have that, uh, that here. So here I can just add my personal note. This is a note to you. There we go whether or not I want to add my payment conditions um, and then uh, let it go what the quote is valid for see how long the quote is valid for so I'm gonna make this one for 60 days um, once I'm done with this you know go ahead and select next um, then I choose my post processing steps um, I'm just gonna create a PDF here just so we can see it um, so go ahead and hit uh, create document and it just takes just a brief moment to go ahead and spin that up. Um, so if I preview this, uh, you can see down here, I've got my quote is valid for 60 days from today. I have my payment conditions information to, information in there, and then I have uh, my personal note. Um, so just so you can see this again, uh, let's go ahead and go through this one more time. Um, just make some different selections here. I'm gonna just select every step, select my template, uh, my user prompt, another note, and then maybe here is some more info, period. There we go. This time around, I will not add any payment conditions, and we'll let the quote be valid for just 30 days. Um, so once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and click Next. Again, generate a PDF. Uh, wait for the document to generate. Uh, then once that's done, go ahead and preview this. And as you can see down here, it lets me know that this quote is valid for 30 days from today. There is no payment information there anymore. And then I have uh, my personal note again. 
and uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, so it's really simple and easy to add. It's you know you don't have to actually edit the document. Allow the users to edit the document. You can kind of like just use these user prompts and just put that in there uh, where things are supposed to go. So let's talk a bit a little bit about availability of this because I'm sure you know this, this is a preview. You're wondering when this is going to come out. So this will be part of our major DCP release that's going to happen in mid July of 2018. Uh, we'll have another webinar kind of documenting all the changes and, and, and letting you know what's there. And it's definitely going to be huge. Okay? Going to be huge. So I want to thank everybody for joining today. Um, again, you know, you can find us on the web at www.mscrm-addons.com. Uh, if you need uh, support um, on any of these products or have any kind of technical questions or anything like that, um, you can reach us at support at mscrm-addons.com. Or you can go to our website, um, hover over the support tab, um, and then you have several options there that you can choose from to get us, uh, whether that be find documentation or chat with us live, etc. Um, and also, don't forget, we have a pretty awesome blog that has a lot of tips about using our products. Um, you can find that also under the support tab. Uh, it's the first choice blogs, um, or you can just uh, um, go to mscrm-addons.com slash blog, and it's, it's pretty helpful. A lot of questions that you may have are going to be answered there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go into uh, question and answers. Uh, so I'm going to thank everyone again for joining and we'll just get right into the question and answer session here. Thank you so much.